Meantime tonight, two women are in jail, charged with capital murder now and the death of a two-year-old girl. News 4 San Antonio's Renee Santos joins us live on the northwest side with what we've learned now since 5 o'clock. Renee? Randy, we're standing outside where that incident happened. Police say they found blood, vomit, and hair inside one of these apartments. Blood on the walls, uh, some impression marks in the walls. It, it looked like somebody had been pushed into the wall along with blood and clumps of hair. Signs of a violent attack with an innocent child at the center of it all. Lots of bruising, head, face, back. Um, bruising all over the body. Two-year-old Elena Buford Roseburg is now dead. Police say it happened Saturday night at an apartment on Fairhaven on the northwest side. Officers were called to Methodist Children's Hospital after doctors got suspicious. Investigators say Sherry Newman and her girlfriend Latissa Young first told police the little girl had fallen off a motorized four-wheeler. The investigation later revealed that was a lie. It didn't seem consistent at all with uh, the nature of the injuries. The couple also claimed the child had been vomiting for about a a week and they did attempt CPR Saturday night for 10 minutes before calling 911. An autopsy performed by the medical examiner later revealed the child suffered serious injuries, some in different healing stages, indicating the child had been abused for a while. Most uh, traumatic was a skull fracture. Both women are behind bars tonight, charged with capital murder for what police call the senseless murder of a precious little girl. One time is too many. One of the women arrested did confess to police that they did come back out to the apartment to clean it up. Police say that she also admitted to cleaning up heroin, cocaine and marijuana. Reporting live on the northwest side, Renee Santos, News 4, San Antonio.